Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. I'm Ella and in this video we are going to work on design option. Design option is a tool that you can use for presenting different ideas for your client or customers. You can also use it for comparing multiple designs, multiple approaches for modeling or designing a room or a space. So it could be super useful. There are different ways that you can use this design option so we are going to test all of them in this small kitchen in here let's start if you go to manage tab you can find it in here first of all you need to click on it and create a set click on this new in here and in this part you can see your first set this is going to be one option and if you want to add like sub options to it you need to click on this part we will have a few more of these sets so it will be better if we change the name from the start so click on this rename and let's call this one a style okay we also need to rename these two parts for changing the name of this part we are going to click on this rename in here and simply let's change its name to for example l set and also let's change this one to island you see this primary sign beside this option in here you can change it with clicking on this part so if this l set is going to be the primary the main option of this set you can leave it like this but if you want to change the primary to this one you can just simply click on this one now that we created our first set, we need to add objects or families or assign something that it could change it. So in this point, we are going to, for example, add an island to here. For this, we are going to create another one of these in this part. So let's go to first level and simply copy this to here, rotate it and let's make it a little bit larger okay move it down to here and i also want to mirror it okay now if i select these two and go to manage tab i can add them to this set before we creating this set we couldn't add anything to this design option so first of all you need to set your set okay now select them and in this part you can simply click on this add to set and in this view in here you can uncheck this box because we want to add it to this island in here and okay now in this part if we change it on l set we will not have any island in here but if we go back to island you can see it like this we can also add chairs to this part so let's go to first level while we are in island mood we can add an object like this another one to here in this case we need to go to manage and design option again and click on this finish editing okay now if we go back to island you can see them in here if you want the island to be your primary as i said before you can click on finish editing and with this option in here make it primary like this so if you are in main model you can see all of these in here let's create another set click on this new in here and let's change its name to simply set okay now i want to add another option to it and change this one to for example a and this one to b i want to change the place of this gas with this thing for this we need to select both of them and in manage we need to add them to this set we have two options and we are going to add them to both of these a and b for now now we are going to go to design option and select this b this a will be our primary so sink is going to be in this part and the gas stove is going to be in here but we B option we want to change their place so while B is selected click on this edit selected and in first level we are going to change their places since we didn't select it these or these parts we can change them but if you want to change their place too we need to first of all finish this editing in here and select this one and also this one and add them to this set 
to this B. Now we can go back to B and edit selected. And in here we can change the replace to move this one to here. And also, for example, we can delete these two. But if you want them in A, you need to go to A primary. You see that they are not in here. You need to go to A and add them again to here. If you go to 3D view and change the manage to B, you will not have them in here. And this is exactly like we changed it. This is our sink and this is our gas. So, but if you go back to A, it will be exactly like before. You don't have that cabinet in here. So if you want it again, you need to just simply add it to this part. Now, if you're finished with this set, you need to go to design option and click on this finish editing. Okay. You can also mix these two together. For example, you can go to design option and change this primary in a style to L set. First, finish this one and now you can click on this one and make it primary like this. You can go to B and make this one primary, for example. You can keep this and have this island also in here you can also use this design option for changing the material of course you need to first set another option in here let's change its name to simply material first option is going to be floor tile add another one and change its name to parquet let's also add another option and change it to for example ceramic before we change the floor, let's, for example, set this floor as primary and turn it into a ceramic. So create a new material for it. Let's call it ceramic and change its material from this part. This one, for example. Let's also change its pattern to model and select this. If you want to change the material of this floor you need to select it and in this manage tab you need to add it to the set so while we are in this material option material set in here we need to uncheck these two because we want to add it to floor tile okay and now if we go to this floor tile we can select it and change its material now go to its edit type and in this part let's create a new material for it let's just simply scroll down a little bit and select this one for example let's also change its pattern to see it better to see its difference better change it to white okay as i said before if we go back to this ceramic, we will have no floor in here. So while we are in ceramic, we are going to add the floor in this first level, this part. Create another one. Let's also create it a little bit bigger like this. Let's also change its style to this one and then change its material to this ceramic that we created before okay and okay now we can go to manage and change it to floor tile or ceramic also for this third option this parquet in here we need to create another one and in here we also need to duplicate this and change its material to parquet so first of all create a new one and from this part, let's select the flooring for it. This one, for example. Also, let's change its pattern. Let's make it white. Now hit finish and go to 3D view. This is a little bit big, so I'm going to change its thickness to 15 centimeter. Now you can see all of them in here. This is our ceramic floor, which is a little bit bigger and the style of the floor is different. The floor tile, which is this one, this is the generic 15 centimeter floor. And the last one, this parquet, is the one that we changed its thickness perfect now if you go back to this main model you can see the 
primary set in here i don't want this floor to be my primary so i'm going to go to this design option in here and change it to floor tile click on this part and it will be the primary design there is one more point that you need to know let's add window to this design option first of all i'm going to create the new set and change its name to window first option is going to be no window let's set next one as gas window and another one as sink window now this sink window is going to be our primary because i want the sink to have a window for it so first of all we need to add the window to this part we are going to add one to here and another one to this part if you want to add your windows to the design option you need to also select these walls too so we are going to select all of them together and then we need to go to manage and add them to set select this window set and uncheck this no window okay first of all let's go to no window and add the walls that we deleted one in this part and another one in here okay and now we can go to the gas window for example and delete this window in here behind this sink let's also move this up to here and exactly behind the gas stove now we need to go to manage and in design option click on finish editing okay let's go back to this sink window and in this part delete this gas and move this up to its place exactly behind this sink now again click on finish editing okay so now if we go to this gas window we will have only this one if we go back to sink window we will have only this and in this no window we will have none of them but if you go back to this main model you will have this window behind this sink because this set this option was our primary if you don't want it if you want no window in your kitchen you can set this one as your primary can you imagine how many different designs you can have for this kitchen this is small kitchen with only these options in here you can have lots of them for example let's change this one to park it and change l set as our primary let's change the window to this part also we can change the set like this we can change their place perfect let's go back and have ceramic for our floor and go back to island and also have for example no window in here be this B set like this not only it's wonderful it's fast especially for presentation so yes that's it i hope this was useful for you and you enjoyed watching this tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next tutorial bye